making the most of the Mediterranean heat, is Taui Casanova, Pete Wicks. What's happening? <gasps> oh, it's really jump. I haven't touched it yet. <laughs> oh, promising. <laughs> Enjoy. Hello, Pete the Pirate. Oh, I'm my Amanda little love. The Amanda the Parrot. Amanda the Parrot. Just the bird I've been looking for. <laughs> How are you? You all right? <laughs> you good? Yeah, what are you doing here? Come on. Oh, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm 30 years old. I've done a lot of dating. I know. We've seen it <laughs> on live TV. I think doing what I do makes it very, very difficult to meet people because, as maybe see me on telly, they assume I'm a bit of a ladies' man, maybe. Let me give you some motherly advice. Come on in, tell me. Singles night in Lidl on a Thursday. Is this actually a thing? Seriously. They do it in Asda as well on a Wednesday. Uh, do, do they really? <laughs> you winding me up. Don't set <laughs> me up like that. Listen, I'm a vulnerable character. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what? I'm a bit nervous about this. Because this is a bit serious, this, isn't it? You know what I mean? Like, you get marriages and stuff on this show and people having kids and that. But you don't about it. It's serious. So, I don't want a holiday romance. I want a lifelong romance. I've been to Aberdeen a couple of times. Everything's good. I, my parents live out in the countryside, so I love going out for walks. I love gardening. I love birds. <laughs> like... Birds are a slightly different thing down in Essex. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I would much rather be on a date with someone that has no idea anything about me, whereas someone that, that may have known my previous dating history, I suppose she'd be a bit weirded out. So, last relationship? Yeah. Sore subject? No, not at all. Just kind of... I've been cheated on previously. Like, obviously, I recognise you from doing reality TV and stuff. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I'm honest, I don't think I've got the best reputation in the world. Yeah. When I go into a relationship, I'm not a game player or anything like that. Like, I don't have time for that at all. Like I said, I haven't got the best reputation in the world, and it's, 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 it's fairly well documented. Exactly. But I'm 30 years old, and I've dated a lot. My longest relationship's about 18 months, it's not yeah. long. Uh, but it's a very toxic relationship. First girlfriend I'd ever had was with someone else in the public eye, Megan McKenna. I made a mistake three months in and then spent 18 months trying to make up for that. And, um, and it was all in the public eye, so, you know, I had people, like, making, like, little... funny little dolls and then burning them and sending me videos. And it was just, like, proper madness. All I've ever seen to do when it comes to relationships is hurt people. I can't change what's happened before, so you can only change what happens and, and how you go about your business in the future. And for someone, you know, sitting here and you telling me that you've been cheated on, mm. makes me feel guilty. But that's not your fault. People have a perception mm. of what they think you're like. I wouldn't say everyone does. I don't. I would never judge someone until I got to know them. I did have a few trust issues after that person cheated on me. But I let myself heal from that before I went into the next relationship. I kind of take someone for who they are now, so not the person that they were in a previous relationship. You seem like... like an angel. I feel like you're an angel and I'm the devil. Why are you the devil? Well, you want to be the devil? Yes! Listen, maybe I put too much on what my nan says to me. Yeah. And she always says to me, one day you'll meet someone and everything will change. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Make sure you subscribe to get a regular serving of love and romance.